Hey, what's going on summoners? My name is Crumbs and I'm here with another patch preview. In this video, you'll get some insights into the changes you can expect to see on next patch, 1217. For a comprehensive rundown, keep an eye on our channel. We'll upload another video soon covering all changes in depth. However, for now, we'll go ahead and give you a list of the various champions who are getting adjustments next patch. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future content we release, and let's get started. First things first, let's talk about a couple of system changes coming up. Stopwatch, Guardian Angel, and Zhonya's Hourglass will receive adjustments on patch 1217. We're still waiting on details, but more likely the focus is going to ensure these items continue to feel fair. Since the patches are targeted at competitive play right now, Riot is likely doing this to ensure there aren't any items that are particularly over or under tuned. Next up, let's run through the champion changes next. We'll start with the nerfs. Nami, Tarek, Azir, Ari, Silas, Trundle, Wukong, Sivir, and Renekton will be receiving nerfs next patch. In Nami's case, this change is intended to nerf Electrocute, so I would guess it'll simply change how the Keystone interacts with her abilities. We also have some champions who are continuing to perform exceptionally well. Tarek, Trundle, and Sivir particularly have some insane win rates right now. Tarek is currently sitting at a 54% win rate, pretty wild considering that ranged enchanters have been the most dominant champions as of late. Champions like Ari, Silas, and Renekton are more than likely receiving nerfs because of the competitive scene. Their win rates are within reason, at least by solo queue standards. Renekton is a great example who's seen his competitive presence rise significantly in the past few patches, breaking past the 58% mark. Similarly, Ari has also held some massive popularity for pretty much the entire summer split. Whatever nerfs these champions are getting, know that they're being included because they're too reliable in professional play. Next up, let's talk about the champion buffs. Patch 1217 will also include a healthy number of champion buffs. On this list, we have Misfortune, Twisted Fate, Kassadin, Rel, Graves, Nocturne, Ezreal, Camille, and Set. Plenty of champion diversity here, so everybody is getting something. The biggest buff I expect is going to be for Twisted Fate, who is underperforming quite a bit at the moment. With a mid 46% win rate in high elo, he's doing much worse than he usually does. You'd expect a champion with as much map control and who's as straightforward as he is to actually do well in solo queue. However, that's just not the case and I wouldn't be surprised if he received quite a few damage buffs. Considering that Nocturne is also receiving a buff, players will definitely need to be more careful next patch. The imminent global threat either of these champions brings can punish all but the most defensive players. And both these picks are going to be super powerful at Worlds. When it comes to World Championships, Globals are king. Now if you need some help surviving ganks or coming up with a game plan to consistently dominate your own solo queue games, make sure you contact the coach over at ProGuides.com. We have some excellent coaches who can help you improve fast and rank up. Jumping back into our video, a lot of these other champions are performing decently, but Riot plans to buff because of their performance at certain ranks. For example, Set is doing really well at lower ranks but underperforming higher up, while someone like Camille shows the opposite correlation. One change we already do know is going to be for Misfortune. As lethality Misfortune has been the norm for quite some time, Riot is taking steps to adjust her crit builds and also change her lethality playstyle. The goal is to encourage players to rely more on her Q than her E. With some increased attack speed and crit scaling, we'll probably see more players incorporate traditional builds into her next patch. For the rest of the champions, I'd expect smaller buffs for Cassidy, Nocturne, Ezreal, and even Rel. It's nice that they're touching on Rel, however. This should open up some more diversity in the bottom lane as Riot is continuing to push changes that allow non-enchanters to finally see the spotlight once again. Now we've covered champion buffs, so let's move on to champion adjustments to wrap things up. The list is short, but two champions will receive adjustments next patch, Maokai and Hecarim. In Maokai's case, I'm sure Riot is going to make some changes to help him in roles outside of support. AP Maokai is fun, but it's definitely not what he was designed for and I have a feeling they'll push him back towards the top lane and jungle with some changes that favor tank builds. We also have information already about what's to come for Hecarim. Initially designed as more of a tank and fighter, Riot is going to try and push him back to those origins. At the moment, lethality builds have been way more popular. With this shift, Riot hopes that Hecarim will end up stronger than before, but let me give you a breakdown of how they'll accomplish this. 
First, his damage will be much less front-loaded, requiring you to stack up his Q before achieving full power. In addition, his W will provide some extra resistances when active, making him a much more capable bruiser than before. Free resistances encourage players to build health to make the most of them after all. That's it, we've concluded our 1217 patch preview. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and like always, feel free to share any thoughts you have with us in the comments below. You can also read through the description for a link to join our Discord server. We'd love to see you there. Stay tuned for our full list of upcoming changes, but until then, as always, good luck on the rift, and may the LP gods smile down upon you.